All right, number four. <coughs> we have absolute value of three y plus eight equals sorry minus one equals zero. <coughs> so first, we have to get it in standard form by moving the minus one. So we're going to add one to both sides, and that gives us absolute value of 3y plus 8 equals positive 1. Now it's in standard form. Uh, we are equal to a positive number. We can solve it. So we're going to set up the equation twice. 3y plus 8 equals 1. And 3y plus 8 equals negative 1. And then we'll just solve. So we will subtract 8. I'll do both of them simultaneously. Subtract 8 from both sides. Trying to isolate the variable. That will get canceled. Bring down 3y equals, this is negative 7. And then over here we bring down 3y and this is equal to negative 9. And then we're going to divide by 3. And then divide by 3, and we get y equals, this will be a fraction, negative 7 over 3. And then here we get y equals, this will be negative 3. Okay, so these are the two numbers that if we plug them in, uh, we would get a positive 1. <coughs> positive or negative 1. So our solution set. And since they're asking set, I think we want to do the curly bracket um, anytime you say uh, solution and set notation. Okay, so we want to do curly brackets. So you can click those from the keypad. And then we'll do negative 7 over 3. And then separate the next answer with a comma. Negative 3. Another example, number five. We're going to get it in standard form first. So we have absolute value of 3y plus 4 minus 4 equals 0. I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So I'm just going to move the 4 over. It becomes positive. So we end up with absolute value of 3y plus 4 equals 4. Okay, so it's positive and it's in a standard form, so we will solve it twice. So we have 3y plus 4 equals 4, and then we have 3y plus 4 equals negative 4. So we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. Cancels, cancels, bring down 3y equals 0 over here. Bring down 3y and it equals negative 8 over here. Divide by 3. And we get y equals 0 here. And we get y equals, this will stay a fraction, negative 8 divided by 3. So we get 0 and negative 8 thirds. Again, in interval notation. So you can do shift and the square bracket button, it gives you the interval. And then we get 0, comma, and then we have negative 8 over.